A dazzling surprise and a true cosmic milestone, NASA confirms the existence of more than 5,000 planets. We give you a cordial welcome to this new documentary, if it is the first time, I introduce myself, I am the engineer Hidakel Morrison, and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. In which we will see, one by one the more than 5,000 planets discovered and confirmed by NASA, in a wide display of unprecedented news, data and information. Do not miss this video until the end and you will discover new elements that will change, forever, your vision of the universe and the real possibilities of the existence of life outside of the Earth. From an engineer's perspective. Let's start. To understand the exciting confirmation of the existence of more than 5,000 planets, we must remember that the name of planet has been given to solid objects or rocks in space that revolve around a star and that do not emit their own light. For a long time, due to the limited human understanding of space and rudimentary existing technologies, it was believed that there were only eight planets in the universe, all of them in orbit around our star that we call the Sun. Those eight rocks that called planets were given the names of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Pluto, Ceres, and Eris, discovered in 2005, became known as dwarf planets because of their small size compared to the others. But a new series of scientific discoveries has marked a high point, it is now confirmed that there are more than 5,000 planets beyond our solar system. Let us remember that when a planet is outside our solar system, that is to say that it does not go around our sun, these types of planets are called exoplanets. Let's see the technology used for the discovery of these more than 5,000 planets and their potential to harbor some kind of life on their surface. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe, Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. It's not just a number, each of those 5,000 planets it is a new world, a totally new planet. Jesse Christensen, NASA scientist. With this official publication from the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA entitled, Cosmic Milestone, NASA confirms 5,000 exoplanets. This new and momentous discovery was released. In order to identify all these new exoplanets, the most recent technological advances applied to space telescopes were used, since exoplanets are very difficult to see directly with ground-based telescopes. They are hidden by the bright glare of the stars, the suns, around which they orbit. One of the technological tools that contributed most to the discovery of these 5,000 exoplanets was the spacecraft called Kepler launched by NASA into space in 2009. The Kepler spacecraft searched for planets of various sizes and orbits. And these planets orbited around stars of different sizes and temperatures. Some of the planets discovered by Kepler are rocky planets that are at a very special distance from their star. This sweet spot is called the habitable zone, where life might be possible. Kepler detected exoplanets using the transit method. When a planet passes in front of its star, this is called a transit. When the planet transits in front of the star, it covers some of its light. That means the star will look slightly dimmer when the planet passes in front of it. Astronomers can observe how a star's brightness changes during a transit. This can help them figure out the size of the planet. The more than 5,000 planets found so far include small, rocky worlds like Earth, gas giants many times larger than Jupiter, and hot Jupiter planets in scorchingly close orbits around their stars. There are superplanet Earths, which are possible rocky worlds larger than our own, and many Neptune planets, which are smaller versions of the planet Neptune in our system. Also found in this mix are planets that orbit two stars at once and planets that stubbornly revolve around the collapsed remnants of dead stars. In this NASA animation we can see the more than 5,000 planets discovered one by one, the exoplanets are identified over decades of discovery. The circles show the location and size of the orbit, while their color indicates the detection method. In a set of discoveries that began in 1992 with the appearance of strange new worlds orbiting an even stranger star. This was a type of neutron star known as a pulsar, a rapidly spinning stellar corpse that pulses with millisecond bursts of searing radiation. 
Measuring slight changes in the timing of the pulses allowed scientists to reveal planets in orbit around the pulsar. NASA scientists have established that if planets can be found around a neutron star, the planets have to be basically everywhere. So scientists have no doubt that the number of exploanets will continue to increase, much more so with powerful next-generation telescopes and their highly sensitive instruments, beginning with the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb will be able to capture light from exoplanets atmospheres, reading what gases are present to potentially identify telltale signs of habitable conditions. That is why there are very high and hopeful possibilities that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to identify hundreds of exoplanets with real-life conditions. Let us remember that we live in a universe where there are about 100,000 million galaxies, where it is estimated that there are at least 50 billion planets in each galaxy. One of those 50 billion planets in one of those 100 billion galaxies is the planet where we live and to which we have named Earth. That is why NASA scientists have already indicated that it is inevitable that somewhere we will find some form of life due to the close connection between the chemistry of life on Earth and the chemistry found throughout the universe, as well as the detection of organic molecules in general suggests that the detection of life itself is only a matter of time. The scientists also express that they have a real sense of satisfaction and genuine wonder at what is found in the vast universe, noting that they did not expect to find such an incredible and huge variety of star and planetary systems. The variety of planets was not always so clear. The first planet detected around a sun-like star, in 1995, turned out to be a hot Jupiter, a gas giant about half the mass of our own Jupiter in an extremely close four-day orbit around its star. In other words, a year on this planet lasts only four days. More of these planets showed up in ground-based telescope data once astronomers learned to recognize them, first in the tens and then in the hundreds. They were found using the wobble method, tracking the slight back and forth motions of a star, caused by the gravitational pulls of orbiting planets. But still, nothing seemed to be habitable. Finding small, rocky worlds more like our own required the next big leap in exoplanet hunting technology, the transit method. Astronomer William Burutsky came up with the idea of attaching extremely sensitive light detectors to a telescope, and then launching it into space. The telescope would observe a field of more than 170,000 stars for years, looking for tiny dips in starlight when a planet passed in front of them. I would like to read your opinions about all these thousands of planets and the ever closer sign of life outside our planet Earth. Let's reflect together in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.